Formula E. Nine iconic inner city race venues in eight countries. The first fully electric racing series of the world. There are some pieces that are fairly normal, like a rear wing. We're all used to rear wings on racing cars. There's a crash structure, there's the gearbox. Here we got the battery, which is this big, huge casing down there, and the inverter. The inverter changes the electricity from DC to AC, and then you have the power on, in the engine and on the gearbox. This is entertainment that creates value for society. I think, you know, we all believe in a sustainable agenda. You know, the DH, Deutsche Post DHL back in 2007, we made the commitment to reduce our carbon footprint by 30% by 2020, and we're doing a lot towards that. DHL, our logistics partner, is going to design a special logistic strategy to minimize the carbon print of the championship. The calendar is set also to be sustainable, so that when we go to Asia, we have the races in Asia. So then we move to South America, we have the race in South America. And then from South America, we move to North America. And from North America, we move to Europe. It's, I mean, it's not that the teams or the freight will come backwards and forwards. The Formula E car is a complex item to be shipped around the world. The front and rear wing are detached and packed in special transport boxes developed by DHL. Each Q6 container must withstand two tons of pressure. Each team has approximately five to six tons of equipment in total. DHL will be pioneering new grounds in sending the high-performance lithium-ion batteries of 300 kilograms each around the world, a solution which required months of testing to comply with UN regulations and aviation authorities, including passing a fall test from a height of 6 meters. 41 batteries will travel within the body of the car. An additional five spare batteries are packed in fireproof aluminium cases. Highly efficient aircraft and ocean carriers will be used and electric forklifts will be deployed for loading the more than 200 tons of Formula E equipment for each race. The freight will have traveled approximately 51,000 kilometers before returning to Donington Park. So we optimize the shipment route and reduce emissions by traveling one way to all race venues and replacing air transport with train and ocean services where feasible. DHL firmly believes that Formula E will drive further innovation in technology, electrification and e-mobility that will help us to achieve our ambitious sustainability agenda and help shape the future of transportation.